Alright guys, I got the Civic in the garage finally. It is time to start removing this engine so I can put in the B18C. Here's what I'm working with. That needs out, that needs in. So, let's let the tear down. That's how you pull out your axles, the most simplest way. You take off the fork on the shock, and then you take off your axle nut, and you pop it out that way. That way you don't have to take apart the brakes, anything else like that, it makes it a lot easier. So, I think everything under the car is almost done. I just gotta pop the exhaust loose. Ooh, I'm out of breath. I'm trying to work hard, guys. I have like a couple hours to get work done, so. Gonna pop the exhaust loose. Might as well remove the whole exhaust, hopefully I can. Cause I got the Yonaka that's gonna go on when I get the B18 in. But then the rest of the work is up here, starting to remove the wire and harness. And then I have my Honda parts guy. Guy on eBay has a existing harness that daisy chains in. So all you have to do is run it in series into your engine compartment and then throw a couple pins into your ECM connectors. And then you have your VTIC pressure, sender switch, knock sensor, um, IAT, um, IAC sensor. There's a few other ones, connectors in there, but it essentially allows you to use your existing harness without having to remove it and then just add a few more to it. So by far the simplest way for like 60 bucks. Due to the up and down, I didn't film it guys, but you'll see there's this flange on the bottom of the exhaust manifold that has these four bolts that hold in the catalytic converter into like the downpipe. This guy right here. So pop off the four bolts and there's a the catalyst inside and this is underneath. The reason why I popped it off is because it was going to be really difficult to get it out because what I'm going to try to do is leave the AC compressor charged in the whole system so I need to unbolt the AC compressor and try to hold it up and swap the engine in with it still in there because I don't want to have to recharge it. The more I look at it though, I might have to pull it. It's going to be tight to get to swing that bad boy in and swing it in, pull this one out without bumping into this and then let alone the compressor. I just don't know how.
the nut that's welded to the frame rail on the inside is now broken off the weld, so the bolt won't come out. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 same issue or have ever had this issue on either the transmission side or the driver's side, this is how you have to do it.